hello guys uh, in this video i'll discuss eeg or also called as electroencephalogram it's usually asked as a short note so what i'm going to discuss watch it till the end because the content in this video is going to fetch you almost full marks if at all it's asked in your examination so without wasting much time let's start so let's have a brief introduction regarding the eeg remember that the term eeg or electroencephalogram was introduced by a german psychiatrist and his name is hans berger so what does EEG consist? EEG is having waves. What are these waves? These waves are nothing but the oscillations in the electrical potentials of the brain. And to be more specific, EEG is summation of dendritic postsynaptic potentials. Remember EEG not a, is not a summation of action potentials. It's a summation of dendritic postsynaptic potentials as the uh, postsynaptic potentials which are developing at the levels of the dendrites. And one of the most important application of EEG is that EEG is used for the diagnosis of epilepsy. How is EEG recorded? EEG is recorded by placing the electrodes. Okay. Now where these electrodes are placed? In majority of the cases, the electrodes are placed over the scalp. But in some special cases like when the neurosurgeries and all are going on, electrodes can also be placed on the brain. Now, when electrodes are placed on the brain, that process is called as electrocorticogram. What? Electrocorticogram. So, with this brief introduction, we will next look into the waves of EEG. Okay. So, there are four waves of EEG. Alpha, beta, theta and the delta wave. So, whenever we are writing regarding the waves, at least we have to cover three things. We should write the frequency. We should write the amplitude of each wave and we should also write the condition where these waves are seen. So first let's discuss regarding the alpha waves. Alpha waves are very rhythmical waves. Okay, That's why they are also called as the synchronized waves and the frequency of the alpha waves is somewhere between 8 to 13 per second. Amplitude is 50 to 100 micro volts. When alpha waves are seen, alpha waves are seen whenever the person is awake but at rest or whenever the person is awake but his eyes are closed this is very important second thing which we should understand here is that alpha waves are going to disappear during sleep next is that alpha waves are most marked in the parietal and the occipital lobes so these are the points which are extremely important whenever we are writing regarding the alpha waves Next most important thing to write regarding the alpha wave is that remember that the alpha wave is abolished with the brain activity because what did I tell you regarding the alpha wave? I told that alpha waves are seen when the person is awake but the mind is at rest or when the person is awake with the eyes closed. Now as soon as the person focuses his brain on some kind of an activity maybe he begins to solve some kind of a mathematical problem or he begins to think something or he begin he opens his eyes by the visual stimulus at that point of time this synchronized regular alpha rhythm is going to stop okay so when that happens that is what is called as the alpha block or it is also called as an alerting response so these waves now what you are seeing in this diagram these waves these are called as the alpha waves so here what has happened these synchronized regular waves are replaced by what is called as irregular and desynchronized waves okay this is what is called as the alpha block so where all we are going to see this alpha block it is seen when the person opens his eyes after the closure or when a person begins to think or he focuses his mind on doing some mathematical calculations or problems or even whenever there is a sound or whenever there is clapping remember this this much we are supposed to write regarding the alpha waves next let's understand as to what are these beta waves the beta waves are the one which we see after the alpha block that is when the person focuses his brain or his mind on something now these are desynchronized waves or irregular waves now, what did i tell regarding the alpha waves those were the synchronized or the regular waves what is the frequency frequency is 13 to 30 per second 
the amplitude is low it is 5 to 10 microvolts okay when these are seen these are seen during the brain arousal or during the mental activity okay next we have the third wave which is called as the delta waves now delta waves frequency is 1 to 5 per second amplitude is 20 to 200 microvolts and where all they are seen they are seen basically in the deep stages of sleep like the stage 3 and the stage 4 of non rapid eye movement they can also be seen in infancy and they are also seen in some serious brain damage last is the theta waves the frequency of theta waves is 4 to 8 per second amplitude is around 10 micro holes and these are generally present in the children they can also be seen in the adults whenever the adult is having some kind of an emotional stress and they are also seen in so many other organic brain disorders. So this is what we are supposed to write when they are asking you a question on the EEG. Give a brief introduction and describe all these four waves. Hopefully this particular video will be helpful for you in writing your answer on EEG. Now if that's the case, do hit the like button, do share this video and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.